hi everyone you ma once again here uh, thanks for liking my previous videos uh, which inspired me to do more uh, on coding and share my knowledge to you all uh, as a basic uh, surgery coder today i came up with the topic to discuss on modifiers uh, we have two types of modifiers basically level 1 and level 2 uh, level 1 or two digit um, modifiers whereas level 2 or alpha numeric two digit modifiers uh, okay uh, i'll today i'll be discussing on level 1 modifiers level 1 modifiers we have they are broadly into two types again uh, one is enm modifiers and second one is surgery modifiers enm modifiers are assigned only to the enm not to the procedural codes okay uh, that means uh, uh, so we have three types of enm modifiers 24 25 and 20 57 24 25 57 i repeat again okay uh, what is 24 modifier suppose a patient is in global period for one procedure okay and now again patient is returning to the to a physician uh, of space same speciality or in a different speciality with a different uh, problem diagnosis then if uh, the physician is performing evaluation management then we give 24 modifier and so if patient is in 10 day or uh, 90 day global period and he is seeing a doctor for different problem not uh, related to the uh, surgery he or she has undergone the patient has undergone then you uh, assign 25 24 modified to the ANM I mean evaluation done by the physician today okay I think it's clear for you how to use 24 modifier when to use okay if you're not assigning 24 modifier to the ENM and still patient is in global period then the claim would be denied this is all about 24 modifier what about 25 modifier 25 modifier is if the physician is performing a significant separately identifiable procedure to the patient uh, uh, on the same day of evaluation then we assign 25 modifier to the ENM uh, for example patient is coming with um, uh, hand pain and then uh, ear wax okay then uh, uh, what is physician doing he's examining both the diagnosis okay he did all his evaluation and decided to remove ear wax uh, by using forceps yes then we assign ear wax removal cpt along with the evaluation management done okay then when billing together both enm and the ear wax removal cpt we assign modified 25 to the enm telling that there is a significantly separately identifiable ear, uh, procedure done on the same day of evaluation and management so this is all about 25 modifier if you're not going to assign 25 modifier the claim is going to be denied uh, so it's important to assign 25 modifier to the enm along with the uh, cpt uh, procedure cpt which you are going to code finally modifier 57 what is modifier 57 if suppose on the same day a uh, physician is um, taking a decision uh, to uh, to perform a major surgery on the patient then uh, we should assign 57 modifier to the ENM not the procedure again I am repeating to the ENM we should assign 57 modifier if decision is made for the major surgery to be done on the patient uh, suppose patient is coming with stomach pain and uh, di uh, diagnosis uh, what uh, physician uh, gave is like appendicitis and immediately uh, a physician is uh, uh, you know taking uh, decision for surgery uh, for appendectomy yes it is a 90 day global period and it is a major surgery uh, hence we assign 57 modified to the ENM uh, and we will appendectomy along with the ENM code by assigning 57 modified hope this clearly explained you what are enm modifiers how they uh, to what cpts we should assign enm modifiers and um, their usage uh, okay uh, 
please please do like comment share and subscribe my channel for further updates and the info or coding tips i post thank you so much see you again bye bye